Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABN Graphics. Yes, are you wondering how to design a political flyer? Very simple one, but catchy. Let's go to our Photoshop and let's get it done. So I have just launched my Photoshop just like this. You get that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create my document size that I wish to use. So I'm just going to click on uh, new, just like that. Then I'll wait from the document uh, panel to pop up just like this. Then I'm going to use A4 just like this. You get that. And then over here, I'm just going to change the name to Anaba. All right, Anaba this. Let me just make it Dr. Anaba. Yes, uh, Dr. Anaba. Yes, his, uh, and then I'll click on create yes something like this so this is okay for me and this is what i'm going to use to do what i wanted to do you get that yes so first thing i'm going to do over here is to create my background before i move on to text before i move on to importing an image yes just like that so i'll go over to my file then i come through place a link over there then i'll click on that then i'm just going to pick up this common flag uh, a background i downloaded this uh, this particular background from uh, free picks where you can get a whole lot of patterns to download free pick is very good and it's, it has all the resources graphic designer needs okay yes so it has just import in just like that so the next thing i'm going to do is to right click on that particular layer that's the camouflage layer then i'll rasterize the layer just like that and then i'll hold my shift you get that and then just drag it yes i just want to transform a little bit just somewhere like this so i think this is okay for me then i'll click okay something like this it's nice the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that on this particular distance down here i'll click on the white panel that's the background panel then i'm just going to uh give it a what is the name i'm just going to give it um a a a, a, a distance a shape or let me just come and pick up a shape over here just like that then i'll just draw something like this over there you get that yes and then i have something like let me bring it up then you see the color this is the color but i'm going to click on the terminal over there and then change the color to different color i wish to use on this i'm just doing it for uh, this particular party and DC then I'll have it something like this then I'll click OK you get that then I'll move it down just like that and then I'll on this particular distance on this particular uh, pattern or uh, background camouflage but a uh, distance I'll change the blending mode either a uh, multiply or overlay so I'm just going to use overlay over here and then I'll reduce the opacity a little bit maybe somewhere 50 to 40 is cool for me you get that and when you use a uh, distance to this is how you have you get that i prefer using an overlay just to have the the background somehow brighter yes that is what i normally work with so i'll have something like this over there that's what looks so cool and then i'll try and uh group all just like that i'm just grouping this layer and this layer you get that so i'll just click ctrl g to group it just like this then i'll have it uh bg that's my background then i'll lock the layer you get that the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i am just going to uh pick up um okay first of all let me import in another image of that particular mp uh okay is standing for garu constituency yes name is dr naba then i'll have something like this over here okay i think somewhere look this cool for me i'll have it somewhere here before then i'll do anything to it you get that so it's just going to look so simple and you don't need to do much on that you get that so first thing let me come over here something like this then i'll pick a rectangular tool over here too i can decide to use uh a, a gradient but i just wish to use this you get that so or uh, let me just use the gradient then you see okay i'll pick up my gradient tool over here then over here i'm just going to change the color 
or the gradient uh, this thing then i'll use white over there just like that see that yes then i'll have white here so from there i'll hold my shift and just drag this just like that drag it a little bit so that it will cover somewhere that you get that so i'll click on this thumbnail to open up the gradient panel for me just like that and i'll click on this and then i'll move this a little bit so that it will cover uh much i the, the 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 parts that i want to be covered just like that then i'll move this one down there so that it won't cover the person face you get that it won't cover the whole person face then i'll have something like this then i'll click okay you get that then i'll have something like this over there you get that this looks so what this looks so cool for me over there then the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i'm just coming over to my uh, text uh time then i'll pick up this building then i'll copy that one then let me zoom out over here i'm just going to put in that particular text over there okay building so this is okay then i'll let that one be somewhere here you see that then i'll come and pick up the ghana we want yes then i'll paste that one too over here just like this that looks so cool then i'll come over and i'll pick the last thing that uh together then i'll come over here and then just do what just paste it you get that so let's see something over here so let's have something like this on top this one should follow and this should follow so the next thing again i'm going to do i just want you to see how they are normal do it so on this particular distance i'm just going to make i'm using poppins i'll make it uh black uh, so that it will be deeper you get that and then um okay i'm using 54 so let me come over and use uh, uh this thing what is it 48 that looks so cool then i'll have it somewhere here that looks so cool for me and then on this i'm just going to select all then over here i will line it I, I just want to be selected just like that you get that then i'll have that then i'll move this one top a little bit and then um let me use uh somewhere this and then i'll change the medium to what to sub -boot so that it will appear very deep so over there i'm just going to change the color to different color as you know i just want to have some kind of different color over there you get that so i think this color is so cool so i'm just going to use this color over there and then i'll try and click on this and then i'll change to italic I just want it to look italic yes you get that and then the semi board i'll make that one to italic yes so when you are using um what is the name poppins it has i both italic and then semi bold uh distance over there you get that yes and then i can have something like this over there you get that building the ghana we want what together you get that so on this um let me just change the color uh, the size to somewhere 50. i shouldn't be that bigger so just want to make it somewhere 50. okay let me use this one 48. all right 48 is so cool then i can have something like this over there you get that so okay it has aligned vertical you get that so i'll group that one by control g then i'll call that one text that looks so cool you get that it looks so cool now the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i am just going to pick up um the name i'll pick up the whole name over here john draman and and thomas uh then i'll just do what i'll just paste it there just like that then i'll change the color to the uh, color that is um green this particular green they normally used then i'll have something like this over there and then i'll change the this thing so over here i'm just going to change the font to this particular font called pro v pro v kali i just is very deep yes it's very deep and this thing so i'm just going to use that uh, let me resize it a little bit so i'll have something like this 
and then alignment i'll make it uh left align just like that you get that yes so let me zoom out then you see that you get that so let's come to the characters so on this looks so cool so but on top here i'm just going to select john drama and mama then I'll, I'll increase the size a little bit just to align with this you get that yes so 38 will be okay for me then i'll have something like this and then i'll it's like the space here is i just want some simple space so i'll try and work around with my spacing you get that so not that too big but it should look a little bit okay for me you get that you get that so john draman and mahama and thomas uh, we zoom anaba so i'll come over here and just type uh the end uh this thing over there then i'll change the size uh, sorry the the font name the uh, yes the font name to poppins uh, okay i think this looks so cool then i'll come over here and just draw something like this or uh, just want a shape just like this and then i'll try and use the same color yes oh i think they are red it's not that reddish they use this kind of red so uh let me have something like this over there then over this i'll let it come over here on top let me on top there then i'll change the color to what to white you get that something like this is okay for me then i'll reduce the size to somewhere 24. yes this looks so cool then i'll try and let it be in the sector you get that yes so this looks so cool so the next thing i'm going to do is to copy this for garu this yes you get that for garu you get that then i'll paste that one too over there but with this i'm just going to use the uh, dominant color which is black so i'll have this black you get that then uh, on this i just i just i just don't want to use much fonts at least i should use three or one or two fonts you get that but i wish this so this is oh uh, this is three fonts that i'm using on this flyer you get that so let me have that then i'll increase the size to somewhere 30 looks so cool then i'll move it somewhere here that looks so beautiful you get that yes you get that so let's have that then i'll save it let me save it before uh, everything goes off you get that let's just see there is step by step you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do uh, over there is to copy this particular motto of uh thomas uh win some anaba so i'm just going to copy it then i'll paste it over here you get that so this is his uh motto that's garu yiga garu face okay this i think this is the this thing over there then i'll change it to what to poppins i just i just want to have poppins there you get that so i'll have it as poppins then i'll increase the size a little bit to somewhere uh 20, uh, 18 that's cool then i'll change the font uh building it somewhere semi bold so that it will appear good and nice for me you get that then i'll have something like this over there then i'm just going to change it to this the uh, color down there oh, okay let me try and make it somehow all reddish okay let me, do, let me just let me just depend on this so this is okay then i'll come and pick up a rectangular tool over there and just draw something like this i just want something like this not that too big but this is okay you get that then i'm going to change the color to the color this you get that that looks so cool then the next thing i'm going to do over here is that i'm going to add a layer mask to this particular distance you get that i'm adding a what a layer mask to that particular uh distance over there you get that so let's uh i'm coming okay so this so now let me have something like this then i'll move this one uh sorry a little bit and then this one a little bit closer 
you get that yes okay after doing okay let me import in the uh what is the name all right okay i can't find any okay so let me see so now let me work with my arrangement so this i'm just going to move this to the sector with the name should be sected you get that it should be sected just like that and i love that and then this should follow so i'll have all this then i'll put it in the text in the text grouped so i have something like this over there i just want it to look so simple and catchy very simple you get that so over this okay let me check on this color it's like it's too lightened it's too lightened okay let me see let me see this color okay it's too deep i'll see this okay i'll see this okay the, the same thing just uh okay let me see this okay so i think this color is okay but however um checking uh the distance okay so with this i think we can go with uh, this you get that so this looks so cool so i can now have something like this over there you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i'm just going to come up with votes just like that you get that then i'll change the color to red on this just going to use red over there and then on this particular curves appearance of the shape i'll just move this to the fullest so that i'll have the distant curve then over here i'm just going to unlock it then i'll make this one zero the left down side should be zero and the right side should also be zero so that i can have a shape like this over there then i'll come over then i'll type votes just like that and then i'll move that one to the circle so it should be inside the circle then i'll reduce the size to somewhere 48 and then i'll use uh, this okay let me make the size somewhere 40 okay this looks so cool yes and i can have something like this over there you get that yes now checking on this i think so let me come up with this then i work with around my colors so that uh ndc will not say that is not their colors you get that so let me just have something like this and however to get all their colors well you just need to have their political power their political logo that particular uh, political party logo you can get all their colors that uh, they normally used you get that so we can have something like this yes so this is nice and this is very catchy and all the information is there you get that thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics and have a nice day bye bye